forestry. It's a natural fit for a Port Alberni High School class. After all, this community has a long and illustrious history in the woods. In fact, it's that history that sets this class apart. Because they don't just step outside to learn the basics of the industry, they step back in time and learn from the men who built it. I started to log when I was about 11 years old. And by the time I was 15, I could stand them gin poles up in spar trees, climb them spar trees, top them when I was 15. Now, when Jack is talking about gin poles and spar trees, he's describing the steam-powered technology that was used in the woods 50 years ago, something that he was, and is, an expert at, which is why this class is at the McLean Mill National Historic Site today, watching as Jack and his crew utilize some of that technology to raise a pole. It's really critical that our, uh, our young generation of people who live in the Alberni Valley where forestry has been a part of our economy for hundreds or if not thousands of years and will continue for you know, the foreseeable future, understand a little bit about the history of where logging was um, and be able to witness it with their own eyes. As for the students who have grown up in an age defined by high tech, well, they're pretty impressed by what they're seeing. Actually, I am. I find it quite interesting how much effort it takes to do something like this. What they're doing today is something that we won't see probably ever again in my lifetime. At an academic level it's important for them to understand that you know there's more to what goes on in the woods than just simply dragging a log out of the bush. There's a tremendous amount of physics involved, business, biology, um, ecology, as well as, you know, if you want to get down into it, chemistry, uh, road building, and if I didn't mention it, physics, physics, and physics. But learning the value of physics in this setting, with tons of wood being lifted in front of them, makes a far bigger impact than any classroom exercise could. Especially if they've done it this long, now it's not just, they don't just remember it, but they know it physically. Yeah, we're learning history and uh, learning a lot about the forestry. And for the crew who have volunteered their time to share their knowledge with the students, not just through today's demonstration, but through classroom visits as well, the experience has been an opportunity to pass on life lessons that were passed on to them so many years ago. Well, they said to me, you got to listen, Jack. So that's what I did. And I listened to all the old timers, and I learned the right way. It's got to, it's got to stay in there. A valuable lesson to learn, no matter what the class, or the age. In Port Alberni, I'm Nancy Wilmot.